Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Airbros Review. Today we have the Sumatra carbine with us. Uh, it's got a nice Donny FL silencer on it. Tantu, see, Donny, really, your silencers are top notch, my guy. But anyway, let's go back to our rifle. This is a short little rifle. You pump it up to 200 bar, down to 100 bar, we get about 20 shots on full power. So uh, if you want to set it to get more shots, you decrease this little wheel at the bottom. It's got this nice little feature, so you can change the wheel. Um, it is a repeatable gun, but it's an air rifle, so you can quickly repeat it. So it's got, like I said, six shot magazine. You can change it around, you can point, shoot, load it. So it's almost like a Western style air gun, you know? Got that under lever, so it's pretty cool. But a nice another feature that it has on top here, it's got an adjustable cheek piece. So you'll be able to shoot it left or right handed, so it's ambidextrous. So even if you're left handed, this lever will work. So this is actually quite a nice little gun, and especially for the price that you get it at. But anyway, and it's even got a nice rubber butt pad. So the other feature that this one has, it's got a muzzle thread in the front, but be careful with the muzzle thread. This muzzle thread is not a half inch UNF like all standards. So you have to put on another adapter to put on a half UNF thread on the front here so you can put on your silencer. To fill it up, it's simply just move this cover and then you can get to an access where you can put in your full probe, charge it up to 200 bar like I said. We put on a nice discovery scope here, 10 by 44 SFIR. It's a fixed magnification scope. It's crystal clear and also the money that you pay for this um, scope, it's really, it's, it's, it's a very, very, very nice price for the quality that you get on this <laughs> scope. So yeah, so let's go check how it does. Um, we're going to go do a five shot grouping on a target and let's see how it does. It, it, was, it was raining today, so like we said, so hopefully we can catch the pellet flying through the, the raindrop so we can see if it does deflect or so on. But I'm sure with these 28 grains um, Sumatra pellets that they make, they call them something Eugen pellets, 28 grains. So they're pretty, they're hectic, they hit hard. So let's see, we don't need slugs. We've got slugs here today. That's one of those things that I wanted to test out. So I've got the H&N 27 grain pellets and they're in the 0.28 cal, 5.53, here they are. So we've got a couple of them. We're gonna show you how they compare to the Sam Young pellets. Um, yeah, so let's go check it out. Let's go see what it does. Check you in a bit, bye. So we're gonna do a five shot grouping. We're shooting the 28 grain Sam Young pellets at 30 meters. So let's see how the grouping looks down the range. So it is 250 grams per tin, but it's roughly about 28. Don't quote me, but it's 28 point something. So, but yeah, let's go check how it does. It is on full power. We'll give you the description right here at the bottom so that you can see the speed of the pellet traveling. So let's check how it does. This is a repeatable action. So I'm gonna have to remove it and then go on. And uh, the ground is quite wet. I don't wanna lay in this ground now at the moment. You can go check, show them how it looks. And uh, yeah, let's check. So I'm improvising. We had some lovely rain today. But yeah, let me cut to the chase. Let's shoot at the target, okay. See how I repeat it and push it down. So if it were out of the face, you know, in the shoulder, it would be pretty good and easy. But yeah, now that I'm bench, bench ray shooting, it's a little bit different. Oh, I pulled that one. I pulled that one. 
Let me see, I think this one, that was the last shot. Quickly have a go. Okay, that's it. Yeah, I pulled one. So, it is what it is. Uh, real world situations. This gun is super accurate. And uh, I really like it. For the price that you get it at and the power it puts out, it's amazing. So yeah, let's go see how it does at the hunting scene. I'm sure it's going to blow those pigeons to pieces. But yeah, let's go check how it does. See you in a bit. So we decided to go and see what activity is happening at the sheep. As we saw a lot of pigeons and doves flying around there. So note, we've got a left-handed shooter here, so the Sumatra accommodates left-handed shooters as well. Yo, kijk al die duiven daar. Hoeveel was dat? Hoeveel jaar? Kom staan hier zo, kom spring hier zo, hè? Want wij zien het eigenlijk hoe wij er als je voelt het al. Spring. Ja. Ja, kom, check daar, ik wil veel daar bij. Sorry for the bad focus on the GoPro. We forgot to set the parallax on the next two videos. That thing exploded. Wow, this gun has got amazing power. That uh, was a dove at about 30 meters, uh, but wow, what power this thing has. It knocked it down as soon as the trigger was pulled. Quite impressed. Feeding these sheep throughout the day is essential. Have a look at these two lining up some birds there to shoot. I was around uh, 38 meters, shot it in the chest, went down, I hope we got it on the GoPro. Oh. Ah, that was a good shot, it's at 31 meters. It's quite nice to sit here. We're underneath the shade. Um, when it's hot, we don't get burnt by the sun. And uh, there's another one. Let me speak now. Quickly, let's check how it does. Oh, check the smoke out of that pigeon. Okay, so we're gonna try the H&N 5.53. 
uh, 27 grain slugs in the Sumatra. It does quite well. So I'm pretty keen to see how it does. So we're going to load up six here. We only got 30 at the moment because we're still busy testing it out, but it loves the 27 grainers. So let's go see how it does. We're going to go and see how it performs on the pigeons or the doves. Another thing I wanted to remind you guys of, when you load this magazine, it is tapered inside the barrel here. So it looks like a six shooter barrel. So if you have a look, there's some numbers. The numbers should be at the back. So normally traditional style magazines, you would load it from the back, but you can't. This one is tapered, like I said. So you're gonna have to load it from the front with the bullet facing to the front. So you're just gonna put it in downwards like that. And then it will fall back into that recess. So that's how easy it is. So if you have a, another magazine, just make sure you take another bullet or so and you just push it to the back so that it will seal it and hold it in place onto that taper. But otherwise, that's it. Six of them loaded, there we go. Let's go put it in, let's go check how it does. So I just helped quickly feeding the sheep here yeah? and then we commenced on shooting again. Jose. Nice. Great job. Feel them. Oh, that was a good shot. That was at 27 meters, we shot that uh, pigeon. No, sorry, dove. We shot that dove. Yo, I wanna look for some pigeons around ya. Uh, and we get some long shots. There's some pigeons down there, but we can't shoot them. Otherwise, if it goes through the, the, the dove, it's gonna hit one of the cows there, or one of the cattle. So we don't wanna take that chance. So. We're going to check behind us, we've got a, some of them sitting on top of the roof there, so we can have some long shots, so let's check how it goes. a good shot. I shot that one at 55 meters and it's down really. That was a good shot. H&N slugs are pretty awesome. Look at that accuracy. Oh, beautiful headshot. I've got no words. H&N slugs, when we're shooting these pigeons and doves, it knocks them down. It's, it's unbelievable. So you don't need an <laughs> Sam Young shoots him pretty well and it's devastating.
Okay, so I put the JSB Hades in. Uh, the 19, the 18.19 we didn't pack in, so we're shooting the Hades. Well, we turned it down. We'll tell you the speed that it shoots now. With all the pellets, so we shot with the 27 grain HNNs. We shot with the JSB Hades, and we shot with the Eugen pellets. So we'll put that all down in the description how fast then it was shooting. Or even put it here at the bottom, how fast. So it's quite cool. My goodness, that was 26 meters. So I took him down. JSP Hades work. So this gun, it's really not pellet fussy. It can take anything, as long as you set it. There's another one landing there. Let's see what, what I've got there. Oh, nice shot. That was a bit further, it was 30 meters, so we took it down. I'm really impressed with this <laughs> carbine, carbine Sumatra. It is amazing rifle. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want a rifle that's got power for hunting, or to plink, or to shoot birds like this, you can shoot any pellet just with a dial that you can change it up and down and you've got more shot count and my word this thing shoots like a champion it really does my goodness all right let's uh give this sumatra back to ryan he's going to take over and let's check how he's going to shoot so this is the three musketeers having a good time and having a ball shooting pigeons and helping the farmer out best crowd to be around <laughs> so what think you is that 80? 80? Yeah. Um, 6. Yeah, 5. <laughs> oh. Did you yeah. nice. Oh. Nice, Look at that smile on that face. It says a lot about this air gun. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and we'll check you on the next one. Bye.